Good morning everyone, happy Friday. So it is the third Friday of the school year. I know I haven't vlogged in a while, but it has been a crazy couple of weeks. You might be asking yourself, Charlotte, where are you right now? Well, I'm at my mom and dad's house <laughs> and we are actually staying here for a while. Uh, we will be staying here until May, and the reason we're staying here until May is because we sold our house. Um, we sold it because we wanted to build a new home. Uh, we wanted to build a little bit bigger home just because of our growing family, and um, the house we were in was just getting a little cramped and small, and um, so yeah, we are building a bigger house. Um, so that's really, really exciting. The only thing that sucks about it is that we we want to save some money while this house is being built because it won't be done until May, which is kind of perfect because um, it's the end of the school year. But <clears throat> we are just going to stay here for the eight months that we are building. I guess it's it might not even be eight months. I think it might be six months. But we're going to stay here while the house is being built. That way we can save our mortgage payment every month, not have to pay rent. And um, my mom and dad will be here to help us when the baby is here because Scott and I are not baby people. Like we've never taken care of an infant. We don't really know anything about it. So it'll be really helpful having them around. And my family and I get along really well. Scott and them get along really well. Just like Scott and I's, like me and Scott's family, we all are very close. So, um, when Scott's at work in the valley, we stay with them, and now we're gonna be staying up here with my parents, which sounds crazy, but I assure you, it's okay. We've done it before. Um, we're gypsies. But we're really happy and excited to be saving up a lot of money and having them with us. Jack, are you excited? Are you happy to be at grandma's? The dogs love it here because they have this whole deck that they get to run on. Round, run out on all day. There's lots of little turds that I need to clean up, but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Are you out yet? <clears throat> Jake, my nephew, is he stays here a lot too, and so we're gonna go to school today. My mom and dad are on a trip, and Scott has gone to work, so it's just Jake and I for the weekend. But we are gonna go to school today. Update on that. Um, I still have 37 students. I did gain one and then lose one, um, but I still have 37 and we are actively looking for another fourth grade teacher, which is good and bad. It's good because it will make our class sizes go down, but it's also bad because the kids are um, really struck by this because we did have to tell them about it uh, yesterday just to kind of forewarn them just so that you know parents can start knowing um, that it's going to happen. We don't know when and uh, We just told them that we're not choosing who is going to be switched out of our rooms I did have some crying. I did have a couple of parents contact me asking me You know, what can we do to make sure our student stays in your class? And I said it's completely out of my hands You know if I had 37 parents say what can I do to make sure my student stays in your class? Then there would be no change. It, there just would be no point so we're not choosing who's leaving. We're not choosing who would be in the new teacher's classroom. That's going to be totally up to administration. And it's going to go by, um, we're going to order them highs, mediums, lows, um, who goes to interventions, who has behavior issues with certain people. Um, so we're going to really try to put together a nice class for this next teacher so that it's even. You know, there's a good amount of, of all, all different types. So that's really um, what's going on. I, I've been super stressed out because of all the kids. I've been super stressed out because I don't know when these kids are going to be switching. So it's hard for me to be motivated to do certain things in my classroom because I don't want to start something and then those kids leave. So it's just been really tough and very unmotivating. Um, but... You know, I am, I'm doing my job, we're doing what we have to do, and it's really hard. We can't pull small groups because there's too many kids to monitor in the classroom. We can't pull small groups because it's hard for us to really know what these kids need because there's too many of them. So, 
it's been rough and I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy now so I'm even more tired than normal and all I want to do when I get home at night is go to sleep and I can't do that so are you done okay so Jake and I are gonna go ahead and get going we're gonna go to Starbucks and then we are going to go to school come on hey Jake where are you where are you oh you're over there hello Hello. <laughs> so that's the sitch.